Hi, this is Diane Chapman, and I just wanted to show you a few things that I've learned in the Create module of the Premier Plus Embroidery software. I'm using the Ultra version, and I've opened up the main software. Down here, I can click on this little rose, and it will go into the Create module. This opens up a dialogue wizard and you can choose anything here. If you say no picture, you go through and you can say no background and next and choose your hoop size, choose your machine and your size. Say okay and finish. But another thing when I have it all set up with what I'm going to do and I just want to mess around, I just say nothing or I just click cancel. So you can just go through and say new and cancel and you'll have your original defaults from your last session. So I'm gonna go over here to the quick create and it was kind of tricky learning how all this works. I haven't figured out everything precisely to recreate it each time but I've been playing around with it, so I'll show you what I've learned. First of all, it defaults with this color. I can go in here and change it. Now the default is red. When this button is on, it means you're going to have a pattern fill. So you click it on and off. And then when you click the drop down, it shows the type of fill you want. So I'm going to go with a regular pattern fill. The same is for a line. Right now it's set at a satin line. If I wanted a running stitch, but if I didn't want any line, I would turn that off. I'm going to turn it back on. So between these two, you also want to go over here. So this will show me what option I have for the fill pattern and there's tons of patterns you can choose from as you can see I was messing around last time with the puppies but we'll put something plain here and you can change the angle and you can change the line length and I haven't figured out all of these except for the underlay. If you put an underlay, it's going to put a stitch underneath before it does the pattern. I'm going to leave it at none. Okay. So now, what do you do? How do you get this going here? Well, you can go in here and choose an item. And I still didn't know how to get it going. What you have to do is click on the shape and then you get whatever the shape is that you've selected actually inserted. If you want to change the shape, I suggest you use a corner and press down the control button. That will keep it proportioned. If you don't, you could end up with something like that. So I'm going to hit control Z to undo and that's not working. So we'll hit this undo. So we've got this heart here now, and what I can also do is I can go in to the properties and change the heart to hearts. Now I've got hearts, they're upside down, so I would have to go into the properties and change this to, let's see, 360. That puts the hearts the same way as my heart symbol appears. Now I can go to the freehand if I wanted and I could set a pattern or turn this off and not have a pattern. I'm going to put in a radial. Now I can go in here and now it will be a radial and it, you can set the density. So we'll put it low at 10 and I'm gonna use a satin stitch. And now with freehand, I can 
draw things. Now if I could only actually draw things. And then you can go into the precise uh, tab and you can create things by clicking positions and then right click and it'll fill in. Now if I wanted this uh, to change this, I can go into the uh, home page and you can edit the points. These are points, so I can click on this point and I can move it. If I want to insert some more points to make it more of a circle, I can add points and then I can go to edit points and I can pull these out or pull them in. And I can also go up to the op, uh, properties and I can change this density. And now it's gotten much wider or I can go in and make it, let's see, two is really dense. And I can change these points around. Come here. Come on. There we go. So there's several things that you can do here. Uh, I've been going through some of these and messing around with different ones and I'll show you. I don't want to save that. These are some of the tests that I did with various combinations of changing the density, putting different uh, lines and different fills. So some of these could end up being lace if I could learn how to actually draw something. Um, you can also let me start a new one here. You can also insert some of these super designs. So I haven't gone through all of these, but they have various things that you can also add in. And I assume that you can edit all these. This would be the color. This is the pattern for that. So you should be able to take that and say we'll do something silly as balloons. Yeah, you can kind of see. It's hard to see what that was changed to. But you can find out the pattern settings that they've done in their super designs and then modify them if necessary. Now, I had mentioned in my previous video that I used the paint option in the beginning because if you go into draw you lose everything and this goes into a separate way that you can draw things so but if you go back to this you can use pretty much everything else the view the edit precise freehand quick create and the home and then this allows you to see the color sets and you could change them. So if you didn't want red, uh, how do you do that? You go to this, I believe, change it to blue. Yeah, that changed the red to blue on her dress. So hopefully that'll give you a little bit more that you can mess around with. There's a lot of shapes and tons of these. I thought this was just a list, but when you click on one of these, then you go over here and there's all kinds of options depending on which one you selected over here. And then you can save these if you create something really wonderful. You can save them to your own little gallery. And remember, if you don't want a fill, you just click it off. And then you would only get the line itself, 
without a fill and vice versa let me get rid of this garbage if you just wanted a fill without a line just turn it off and oops here's the heart with just the fill and no line around it so I hope that gives you an idea how to get started and you can mess around with this just as I've been doing. Good luck. Oh, and one last thing. This is my email. Please feel free to email me at diane at mousetracks.com. If you have any questions, I try to answer them. But if you learn anything that I don't know, and you don't want to make your own video, please tell me what you've learned and I'll try to incorporate it in a future video and definitely give you credit. Thanks.